So you got this, you know, particular sister here, you know, she laid up with a sorry man and just got her in a messed up situation. Let's review it. Hey, TikTok. This is what I got to do just to get to work because it's a man in my house. Well, was a man in my house that don't want to work, don't want to contribute, don't want to help provide. What I don't understand is how did you sit here and be with a man like that? Ladies, that should turn you off. A man who's sorry, a man who does not provide anything that should dry you up. Literally a man that works, a man that provides a man that you don't have to worry about anything about none of the bills. Don't have to worry about nothing about your kids. That's the kind of man that should turn you ladies on. Not these other guys. I, I, I don't get that. She he laid up in the house, not doing a freaking thing, but let's continue. So it's me and my kids in the rain. No, no, no. That's little kids. She got one in the stroller. The other one running around looking like about two or three years old. Walking in the rain. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. I mean, seriously, that is a despicable, sorry dude, man. It is my children. Not one day have ever experienced they mama having to walk them in the rain anywhere. I've always provided a vehicle for my children. That is despicable. That's not even what men are supposed to do, but ladies, you lay up with these men and then you get in these situations and then now you're suffering. This is why we always say marry before you carry. Cause usually if you go marry somebody, you let them meet your family, you go through a vetting process. You definitely let the, the men of your family meet this guy, see how this guy is, you know, hang out with him a little bit, you know, read him out, fill him out before you even decide to marry him. You should not be having no children with no men, especially a sorry man, a sorry one, because let's say if for some reason the relationship did not work out. At least if he's a, a a man that provides, he always he's not a sorry man. Then he's gonna make sure his kids is always provided for. Literally walking down the street to his grandmother's house, so I can get help with a babysitter, so I can go to work. This is ridiculous. <laughs> if he would have just went to work, we could fix the truck and I could drive my kids down the street. But no, that's too much to ask. No, that's not too much to ask. Asking a man to be gainfully employed. That's not too much to ask. You know how I feel about it. If you don't have a job or no way to provide, you don't need to be dating as a man. You don't need to be. You don't. A man need to have a job. Ladies. I'm telling you as your uncle, a man needs to have a job. He needs to be gainfully employed. He needs to have his own place to stay, his own car as a prerequisite to date you. You can't take a man serious as not even providing for himself, because if he's not providing for himself, how is he going to provide for you? Or if you have any kind of children later, how he's going to provide for them. Some of y'all give these men, no, they don't have a job. No, they don't have no place to stay like that. They come and live in your spot and that's okay with some of you. That's not okay. But the problem is a lot of you haven't had a dad around or, or, or uncle or something like that to tell you. So I'm going to tell you as an internet uncle, don't have no man laid up around you not working. If he playing the game all day, are you streaming on Twitch? Are you streaming on YouTube? How much money are you making from, from playing them games all day? Oh, I'm not making nothing. Oh, you need to go get to get to work. Now you streaming online all day and you getting, you getting thousands of dollars a month. You making that five, 10,000, 15, $20,000 a month. Hey brother stream all day, play games all day. Cause we understand at the 22nd, 23rd of the month that, that, that check gonna hit the bank account. So you good brother, play your games, do not do that. But if you're not, if you're not making money online, then you need to get your behind offline and get out there and go to work and go get some other job. But don't let no man lay up in your house, ladies, and refuse to work while you go on to work as a woman. 
No, no. And the sad part is she got two kids by a sorry man. Two. That's going to make it harder for her in the dating world. I don't know her. I mean, she doesn't seem like a bad person. She seemed like she got caught up in a messed up situation, but it's going to be hard for her. Men are halfway date her, maybe lay down with her here and there, but to actually marry her, it's going to be kind of hard. I always said this. If you have one child, it may be a little easier for you to get with a man. But when you start having two or more, two, three, four, five, six, it gets a little harder. That's why I say she needs to talk to a single dad. Then I think she'll be okay. A single dad. And he has to be vetted too. He has to provide. If he has a single dad, he'll have his children. You need to make sure, Hey, well, you know, you caught up, you, know, you caught up on your child support, huh? Your or rears and nothing like that. You know, Hey, you want, you can get a passport, you know, cause listen, a passport to tell you real quick if somebody's in arrears. But yeah, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm built different. I've seen some people in the comments say, well, Phil, you different. You way different than some of these men. And maybe I am, maybe I am, but I could not as a man sit up there and watch her with my children walking in the rain and I'm in the house. I'm in the house and I, and, and, and all she's saying is get your behind up to work. Go fix the freaking truck. Go fix the truck. That's it. So they could take, so they can go. So she could take them children down there to their grandma. And, and, and so she can go to work. <sighs> be on with you. I'm going to be on with you. A lot of sisters ask for a minimum from some of y'all. Like going to work is, is a minimum thing. You know what I'm saying? And some of y'all are so sorry. You don't want to do it. I know this. Like I'm not going to cover for men. That's sorry. I'm never going to do that. I can't stand a sorry man. I was raised around men that work that men that provide black men. Okay. And I was told that you're not a man. If you don't provide, I was told don't even go look a woman's way. If you don't have nothing, what you going to give her? You can't even take her out on a date or nothing that's what you want to do. You can't take her to a dinner and a movie because you're behind broke. I was raised that way. But unfortunately, unfortunately, a lot of women and these guys wasn't raised that way. Women, you have every right to demand a man to have a job, to have his own place to stay and have a vehicle to date you. That's not being entitled. That's not wrong. I'm telling you this as a uh, uncle. I'm telling you as a father. I'm telling you as a husband. That's what advice I would give to any of you ladies. Don't put up with no sorry, good for nothing, man. Definitely don't lay up with them. Had no children. My God. No, that's why we always say marry before you carry. But let me know what y'all think about, you know, this sister here, what she dealing with. I know there's some other sisters out here dealing with the same problem, but marry before you carry. Don't become a single mother to a sorry man. Cause you have problems for a long time with a sorry dude like that.